our unique core value to our customers is the ability to transform their substrates through surface engineering into an aluminum surface that will provide the requirements that they need for their specific application. In the aerospace field for high strength steels, we're used on military devices to increase the longevity or the shelf life through corrosion resistance coatings. There was a consortium of engineers and military people put together by the Department of Defense and they came up with a test protocol to look for the replacement for cadmium and hexavalent chromate. And they did a bunch of testing, they tested all the alternatives, and electroplated aluminum was always on top. It is the best coating to protect the mechanical properties of landing gear in aircraft and also to protect against corrosion because of the hydrogen environment sensitivity of very, very strong steels. And landing gear uses the most highly engineered and strongest steel on earth. Corrosion resistance is really a, a material's ability to withstand whatever environment it happens to be in. And so there's, you know, the environment that makes cars rust generally is liquid water and some type of salt, road salt. And aluminum does very well in that environment. Uh, another environment that it does really well in just because of its inherent properties is um, SO2 corrosion. So, so, so SO2 corrosion is, uh, has to do with you know, diesel exhaust. So on the deck of an aircraft carrier that happens to be nuclear powered, you have all the ships around it that are diesel powered. And so the fleet, it's like an SO2 corrosion chamber with all the airplanes that are sitting on top of the aircraft carrier are actually in a really horrible corrosion environment. And so we plate parts that go on to airplanes that are sitting on the deck of a carrier and they do that for corrosion resistance. For example, with the electrical connectors for the aerospace industry, they're bolted to an aluminum frame. And so if you have two aluminums bolted together, you don't have any galvanic corrosion. But if you take an aluminum subframe of an aircraft and you bolt a you know, zinc nickel or different corrosion coating onto that, you get galvanic corrosion. And so in that specific case, someone will look for the different ways it can fail and say, okay, is galvanic corrosion an issue? Yes, okay, then I need to have um, a coating that's got the same electro or close electro-galvanic potential as the base material that I'm bolting it to or the fasteners I'm using. So there's um, certain characteristics that corrosion prevention engineers or the engineers in charge of a project look for, and then they look at what's available.